is Chad from Heroes and Legends. This is a 8-4 Tempest Draft. And we just opened our first pack, so let's see what we got here. Um, our rare, let's see what this guy does here. 4-4. Four, four. Sacrifice 4 is still 2 damage. It's not bad. What else is here for us? Uh, Warrior and Core is very good. For 2 white. Wayward Soul is also very good. Soltari Trooper is excellent. This is a very fast format. There's just a lot of aggressive creatures. Um, Sacramency is great. Soltari Trooper is great. Those are the two I'm kind of thinking about here. I do like the evasive flyers, but I think I just want to go with just something just, just quick and easy to cast, like Soltari Trooper. Which was an awesome card in Vintage Masters. Okay, so where do we go from here? Um, that guy's actually okay, but kind of expensive. Vampire Hounds are good. Standing Troops are actually pretty good in this format. Because you need some defense, too, against a lot of the small creatures. Uh, Wall of Blossoms is a fine card. It gives you defense and lets you draw a card. I do like that. So, hmm, a lot of good choices in these first two packs. Um, I think I'm going with the Wall of Blossoms. Mog Flunkies is also very good. I didn't mention that one, but it's also a fine card. But I'm going to go with the Wall of Blossoms to try to get the card advantage. So Tari Monk, very good choice if we stay in white. Uh, let's see what else is here. Wing Sliver, oh, Living Death. Uh, Living Death's a great card. It's probably a better constructed card. Aftershocks, decent. Um, but yeah, I think the clear pick here is going to be Soltari Mark Monk. Maybe we can do something with Shadow and some uh, Encore creatures or something in white. So. Let's see what happens with this. Um, Master Decoy is very good as well. I think that's probably the pick here. Let's just see what else is in here. Stocking Stones isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's very expensive to make into a man land. Um, yeah, Master Decoy is definitely the pick here. Hammerhead Shark's not bad for blue. Well, so far we all we got all two drops, so we want to keep that going. <laughs> um, this is okay. Um, I do like shackles shackles a lot, though. I also like spirit and core a whole lot. Um, I think there's a better chance of getting another spirit and core than shackles, so I think we're just gonna take the shackles shackles here. Uh, good green creature, too, in um, Trained Armadon, but I think the removal is, you just got to prioritize the removal in this format from what I've seen. So let's see, we got a few things here. Um, Nomad and Core. He's okay, I just don't like that he's a 1-1. One -one. Um, Crashing Boars. It's not bad. It's kind of high end of the curve. This guy's real decent, too. Might take him. Yeah, I don't see anything else that's really better here. Yeah, I think that's the pick. Alright, Pyrexian Hulk. That's a possibility. What else is in here first? Oh, there's a Youthful Knight. I think that's where we want to go. There's also another Shackles. Hmm. A lot of shackles showing up here. I guess the question is, can you keep passing the creatures? I think the answer is yes. Let's just get our removal now. We'll get our creatures. They'll come to us. I hope. <laughs> um, this guy's not horrible. I like Sift and Blue. I mean, we're not really solidly in green or anything. Should we just take Sift and maybe try to go white-blue? It's just the best card here. 
Yeah, let's just see what happens. Um, hmm, I like Wild Diffusion in red. Uh, not thrilled about any of these cards. Let's take the Pegasus for right now. Um, Standing Troopers. Troops is good. I don't mind having that. Charging Paladin. Huh. He's not horrible. Uh, let's see. If we do end up in blue, this is a fine guy. Okay, so pack one, I think I think we're kind of firmly in white, but we're kind of open to the second color. We could go green, we could go blue. We could go in a completely different direction, <laughs> um, but... Let's see what we open. I mean, I'm looking for more white. Hopefully, hopefully some more white shadow. Um, Sultari Troopers would be awesome. There's another Shackles. So, Coat of Arms, Cannibalize, good card. Jackals, good card in black. Brute Walla is a great card. Youthful Knight's good, but probably will wheel. I might just take yet another Shackles here. I think that's a fine pick for that pack. And now that we get our three shackles, now maybe we can start thinking about our creature base a little more. Hopefully we'll get some next couple picks, get some shadow creatures or something. Yeah, this format's played very, very fast, so... I don't know. I, um, I played one game I already posted and we got we won round one but lost in round two and I thought we had a pretty good deck but it was our lands were a little uneven but I don't know oh, killer whale it's a great blue card what's this thing do whenever an untoken creature is put into your graveyard from battlefield put a one on white spirit token with flying to play it's not horrible although it costs four it's really hard to take a turn off in this format <laughs> Um, I might just take Killer Well here. It's just that good. Another card that was great in Vintage Masters as well. Hmm, Sultari Trooper is here. I do like that. Um, this guy's not horrible if we didn't have the Trooper, but we're definitely taking the Trooper here. That's a easy pick for us. I'm not a big Auras fan, but with Troopers, I would take an Aura if there's a good one. Oh, Wrathy Track and what? Um, is that worth just switching to red? I don't know. I like what we got going on in blue. I can get another Sift here. That's such a good card, though. <laughs> um, it's not too late to switch if we wanted to. And you do white, red. But, I don't know. I'd be giving up Sift. I'd be getting, giving up Killer Whale. Those are two also very fine cards. I think I'm just going to take another Sift here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's other Shackles. It's not a whole lot here. Um, Scout's okay. I don't know if I need yet another Shackles. But man, Shackles aren't good. <laughs> Do I take just one more? Or is that just too much? Or am I just going too deep on Shackles? Um, I think I'm going to take it. But now it's time to get serious about our creatures. <laughs> There's a Shrivener. Um... I don't think I have anything that really goes with it, though. Uh, at least not yet. Armor Sliver is a 2-2. Two -two. Mm, uh, not a whole lot of great stuff for us here. Yeah, it's not even a land to take. Hmm. I, mean, I could take the Shri Shrivener for the sideboard right now, and if I get any instant or sorceries... 
he becomes a lot better. Um, Dream Prowler. He's a good blocker, this guy. But I don't know if he's worth four. Um, Gash's form, I, I don't love. Yuck. I don't know. I'll just take the no ants and core for right now because we need creatures. Huh. <clears throat> that remains okay. Might take the ledger main here. Um, <clears throat> there's a dual lamb, being not a good one. Yeah, that's not very good. Um, I'll just take the dual land. Don't know if I'm actually running that, but uh, yeah, blessing. Sea monster. That'd be bad for the cyborg. Um, I don't know if I want to actually run another nomads because <laughs> I've got a bunch of nomads. Um, okay, so what we're looking for now in this box in this pack is creatures. <laughs> we got a lot of low casting cost creatures, but now we actually have 14 creatures. But we just need more. We need to be able to overwhelm with creatures right now. We are kind of short on playables, quite honestly, if you look at what we actually have here. <laughs> Silver Queen. Do I want to rare draft that? Um, probably not. <laughs> Let's see. Smite. More removal. It's not the creature I need. <laughs> um, There's great removal, though. Wall of Essence is pretty good in this format, too. I might just take the wall here. That's what you drop. Maybe Smite will wheel if we're really lucky. Someone will get that Sliver Queen for tickets. <laughs> huh. Charts Battle Cry. It used to be pretty good. There's like no blue coming our way. I just take the battle cry here. Youthful, youthful Knight is a fine creature. There's just nothing coming our way in blue. There's a seer here, but easy pick for us. Okay, another standing troops. Twitch wing sliver. Wing sliver is a flyer, but it's a one one flyer. Um, we'll take the troops. Be nice to get like at least one more Satari. Oh, there and right as it's coming out of my mouth, one more Satari trooper would be fantastic, and we will be taking him. The more I play this format, the more I like bottle gnomes too. It's just such a fast format. Sometimes that three life, it will be useful. And the fact that they can kind of chump block. Um, the guy's not bad. We'll take him. He's, a, he's playable. And we have a relatively cheap deck, but we we're going to want to be able to have turns where we play shackles and play a creature. So I'm thinking <clears throat> maybe this is a 18 land deck. Also, we can we have a mana sink here with Battlecry. 
Ha ha ha. This guy's gray and green. Um, there's another useful, youthful knight. That is perfect. Um, hmm. I'm gonna draw a card when he leaves the battlefield. That's actually not bad. He's too blue, though. So I don't know if he's actually gonna make her cut. Let's see what else. So many two drops. guys might be better than running this um let's take another one for the sideboard it's playable Okay, I think we have our deck. So for lands, everything blue is a little bit high end of the curve, so that's really good for us. One, two, three, four, five blue cards. Two are double blue. So maybe six blue sources. I don't know, is it worth playing the duel? Let me see that duel. I think you can tab it for. Really don't like those lands though. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, might not be bad. And then we can just do like six islands. Okay. Yeah, I like it. All right, we'll see you in round one. Hey, thanks as always for watching. If you're still looking for quality Magic the Gathering videos, click on one of these annotations. And if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the breaking MTG news, spoilers, set reviews, crazy product openings, or gameplay videos on Heroes and Legends MTG. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.